guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another different video, one that I've never done before, and it is a Halloween decoration DIY, not expensive decoration making video. Guys, before we get into it, can you please smash that like button? Let's try and get 300 likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing and if you're new here then please 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 subscribe let's get started so the first thing i'm going to talk to you about are my pumpkins um i've done one human pumpkin and one cat pumpkin these pumpkins cost me a pound from my local farm shop but you can actually get them for a pound in asda you can get them for a pound in aldi you can get them for 50p in certain places and I think that's really cheap. I don't actually remember pumpkins being that cheap. But yeah, I've got some really good ones. You get to go and pick them yourself, which is good. They don't like give them to you and then give you the rubbish ones. So to carve my pumpkins, I used this. And I and I really didn't think it was going to be very good because it was one pound from Asda. And it's a pumpkin party kit. Putrid pumpkin party kit. And it gives you the little thing that you stab the holes in with because you're meant to do like dot to dot and then cut it out gives you that little thing here, it gives you the little knife thing to cut it, and then it gives you the spoon to take all the insides out of the pumpkin. I thought it was gonna be absolute rubbish because it was pound. I found it easier using this than I would like a normal knife, like a sharp knife. I absolutely loved it. I can't believe they're selling them for a pound. I would, if I knew how good that was, I'd actually buy it for like a tenner. I thought it was absolutely great. And I didn't use this one, as you can see, because it's all sealed up. I used an orange one. Um, but my mum got two just in case I did this video with anyone. So yeah, I'm going to keep them all for next year as well because after you wash them off, they're like brand new. So I absolutely love that. Well done, Asda. After I carved my pumpkins, oh actually no, I need to tell you how I carved my pumpkin, pumpkins. So I can't pick them up because then the tea light will fall out because they've got lights in them. But instead of cutting up the top, like as you can see, the top's still perfectly attached to the pumpkin. Instead of cutting off the top, I cut off the bottom and I saw that on this morning. Apparently when you cut off the top, that's what makes it all like cave in and go really, really bad. So I tried the bottom, it works a lot better. And also all of the stuff kind of falls out as you cut the bottom out. It's really hard because usually when you cut off the top, you have to like spoon it out. Yeah, and then I just went on Google and typed in pumpkin faces and these two come up so I thought I'd do these two big and little they're my pumpkins and like I said they cost me like a pound each and a pound for the carving kit that's like three quid so moving on as you can see I've got a little ghost here and I made this myself just before this video the reason I've pre-made them and not made them on camera is because I find sometimes those kind of videos a little bit boring so I thought I'd make them. You guys can see if you actually like them rather than wait until the very end to see if you actually like the finished product. And I will just quickly explain how I did it. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's a piece of paper. I drew it in with a black marker and then I cut some more pieces of paper out and I just didn't draw them in. And then I cut the black bits of the eyes out and then I did draw them in. So that is really self-explanatory. Um, and then I just put some blue tack on the end and you can make as many of these as you want. I made mine look like a confused ghost, but you can make a happy ghost, a sad ghost, an angry ghost, a scary ghost, you can make whatever ghost you want. And I think when I'm decorating my house or my room, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make loads of these with all different faces and like put them in a line or put them like all over the door. So yeah, pretty easy, cost me absolutely nothing because everyone's got paper in their house. Everyone's got black marker or a black pen. Um, and you can either use blue tack or sellotape. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about are, I can't pick them all up at once, these jars that say boom. Again, really self-explanatory. I got a jar and that could be from anything, from like a curry sauce or jam or Nutella or whatever jar you want to use. I took the labels off and to do that you have to soak them in like soapy water, soapy hot water for a few hours and then the labels just come off. Put some tea lights in them and I cut out, just like with the ghost, I cut out some paper saying boo, coloured it in in black marker and with blue tack I stuck it to the jars and the reason I did it with blue tack and not glue is because after Halloween I'll take the boo off and I'll just use the jars as 
like normal candle holders because that looks really really good as well so again really self-explanatory didn't cost me anything because the jars were already in the house and being used paper black marker and tea lights so obviously for most of these things you've got to make sure you've got tea lights but i can tell you now they're doing 40 for a pound in Poundland, or they're doing 100 tea lights for two pound in Asda. Asda's really good at the moment. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. It's not DIY at all, I didn't make it myself. Um, but I thought I'd put it in the video because it is going to be part of my decorations this year and I think it's really, really, really cute and really good for the money. I got this from Poundland. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a tea light in there. And when the room is dark, the light shines through these stars and the mouth and everything. This obviously cost me a pound because it was from Poundland. And I think that's, that's just like really, really good because I'll probably use this like every year for the rest of my life now unless I smash it. So yeah, the tea light goes in there. So yeah, obviously this isn't DIY at all, but I needed to include it in the video because I just absolutely love it. I think it's great. But just be careful after the light's been in there for a little while because the top does get really, really hot. Um, and we don't want you burning yourselves. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about are these little paper ghosts I made. Now up close, they don't actually look amazing, but when you've got loads of them hanging on the wall or from the ceiling with string, um, they look absolutely awesome. And I literally made this from paper. These bits around the neck, like that kind of like tie up, separate both parts of the ghost and they tie the paper together are, well that is made from a black sock. I literally just cut it, tied it around the neck, um, and then a black marker. And I think it's really cool that you can make stuff like this and it's so simple, so easy, you haven't got to go out and buy anything, it's all, like all household things that you will have in your house. Um, so I rolled half a piece of paper, I cut one piece of paper in half, rolled half a piece of paper up in a ball, and then wrapped a whole piece of paper round it, twisted the bottom of the paper, tied the little bit of sock round it, and then drew the little face on. And I did exactly the same with this one. So I actually used three pieces of paper, all in all, a bit of a sock, a black marker, and if I say so myself, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to share some of the little things that I've been doing today, and some of the things that I've been doing to decorate my house for Halloween. And no one likes going out and buying decorations because they only get used once a year and it always seems like such a waste. So I thought DIY decorations video would do really, really well. And I hope you all liked it. So thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you guys try and make any of this or you make your own DIY decorations this year, then please tweet them to me, that would be amazing. The link to my Twitter and my Instagram is in the description below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.